What? Let's attach. Whoa! Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the contract called Like Hot Potatoes. So for this contract you need to make your way all the way up to the northwest part of the institute. You're going to be doing this field here. Before you can do this contract you're going to have to do experimental field which is basically the exact same thing. You're going to have to cultivate the field, use the multi-row planter to seed the field, and then use the harvester to harvest the field. That'll give you two pallets of, or two cargo worth of uh, potatoes that'll spawn in. And then you'll have to use a crane to pick them up, put them in a truck bed, and then drive those all the way back to the rail yard, which is all the way back down in the crossroads here. That'll put you through this gateway and then you'll have to go all the way down right here. So there is a cultivator trailer that's right here. This is the technical station. So you can grab that cultivator trailer, bring that up there. There's a task called Exhibit A, which spawns in a potato harvester over here. And you have to pick it up and bring it back to about right here somewhere. It might be this way further. And then this, the multi-row planter trailer is going to be right here. So that'll be all three of the trailers you need. The Exhibit A contract, you can start right here. All right, so we got our trailer here. We're going to have to cultivate the field. I think we'll just kind of trim this side here because we had the trailer off in a weird, weird uh, uh, angle over there. But basically what we're going to have to do is uh, cultivate... Basically, we just have to uh, cultivate the entire field, seed the entire field, and... Whoa. Did my tire just go straight through that? Uh, and harvest the entire field. So I think this is going to be just a bad swoop at this, but that's fine. And once we do that, that will give us some potatoes, which we can then grab from that warehouse right there and then we can bring those back and deliver them. So we're going to try and do our best here. Probably shouldn't have turned there at the end. I, I, th I was thinking about going in and uh, just uh, trying to do what I did with the K700, sort of circling the field. That was a bad choice though. But whatever, we'll clean up this edge here. Let's get this to go down. There we go. It's weird not having it say like what percentage we're at, but I mean, like I said, I know what we got to do. We just got to do the whole field, so it is what it is. Let's see if we can... I'm going to try and do it a little bit. Uh, get the outside. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Probably, like I said, a bad idea. I've been doing pretty good with just doing the straight streaks all the way across it. That's been working out nice. See, this is, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, we gotta straighten it out though. Uh, whatever. There we go. Turn, see how close we can get. Yeah, not very. Basically all the way out of the field. Oh well, we're getting somewhere. Alright, we're turning as sharp as we can, but obviously way too late. Try and clean up as much as we can of this. I kind of wish I knew what percentage we were at, just for fun. Ooh, boy. Cruising now. This ain't going to be the prettiest, I'll tell you that much, but... Uh, we're just kind of having fun with it. Let's grab this, I guess, while we're all the way out here, huh? Now we'll go wide, we'll grab this side.
There we go. That should be good. Yeah, I'm assuming it'll tell us to get a hundred, or basically make us get a hundred percent where it would have been before. So we won't know what percent we're at. But uh, yeah, we, you know, we'll have to just keep going until the field com auto completes the rest or whatever. All right, let's see if we can we get this chunk over here. Let's back up. This ain't neat, but it's going pretty fast anyways. Oh yeah, we were able to get it all. Oh, one of them. Darn. Alright, let's try and back up a little bit here. We've missed this side quite a few times now, but... It's okay, we've been cleaning up on the far side. And uh, now, after this, I think we'll just take some, some good shots going basically the same direction we just did. So we'll go way out, we'll go straight down, and then we'll take a wide shot going the other way. So here we go, we're pretty straight on. What the heck? Pretty straight on with this. There we go. Alright. I, sh I should have just went straight there. I don't know why I didn't. That was a dumb choice. Are you guys surprised though? I mean, we're basically down the same path. We just missed all of it. I think we're getting pretty close to uh, auto-completing the rest though. So we're just going to try and drive through and get a good swoop on this side. And I think that'll probably do it. Apparently we need just a little bit more. So it didn't go through. There we go, stage complete. Alright, we've refueled our tractor. We have repaired it. And we're gonna... We dropped our trailer just over here. Now we're about to hook up and uh, get on with the next part of this one. Let's attach. Whoa! Okay, not, not terrible. Not terrible. It definitely could have been better, but not, not a terrible hookup. I've had worse. <laughs> and I guess we'll just back it up to the end of it anyways. There. Oh, it turned us a little bit. Oh well. It's kind of cool. You can see my tracks all over the field, but then right over there where I didn't do it, you can see it. Alright, yep. Let's just try and plant this in a mostly straight line. And then we'll just drive off. Alright, attempt number two. I don't know if you call it attempt, but... Whatever it is, we're driving down. I don't know why there's just some dead broken plants here. Whatever. I keep looking in the top right to see the percentages and it doesn't show up. It would be kind of nice if it did. Alright, here we go. Basically, this will take us a, a 10 to 11 attempts. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it attempts. Um, God, I keep turning left and right and left and right and overcorrecting it because it's a little bit delayed.
Number three. I'm gonna try and get close to this. We kind of missed right there because the uh, power pole. But that's okay. Get as close as we can. Drive to the end of the field. Whip a U-turn. Call it good from there. There we go. I think we'll just try and run this tree over. Yeah, there we go. How about this one? Nope, not that one. Oh well, at least we were able to keep it somewhat straight. You know, now we're right, we're right on the edge of the, uh, the field. Which is basically exactly what I wanted. Don't know the percentages again. I keep checking. But that's alright. And I think that task, basically you can keep doing this over and over if you want. And you get a little bit of money each time you deliver potatoes. So it's sort of like an infinite money thing. Um, obviously it probably wouldn't be worth it on uh, hard mode. Even though that's completely broken right now. But the amount of fuel you're going to spend, I think you only get like 500 coin. Which is not nearly enough to cover the amount. But, you know, if you're just having fun farming, then it's definitely, you know, a good thing. It's just, uh, it, you know, if you're going to try and exploit it to get money in hard mode, it's not going to work. So, it, it's a waste of money. But if you're playing it on normal, I mean, then it's, you could make money because you're not paying for fuel. Or I suppose in New Game Plus, you could, you could use it as well, because then you're controlling how much you're getting for that kind of stuff. That was like a perfect turn though. I'm gonna back it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more straight. There we go. But yeah, we should have to go about two more passes to my left and probably two more to the right. Maybe one or maybe three total instead of four. I was saying three just to kind of be more conservative. I'm gonna go left a little bit and then go wide right. So we'll just keep this, uh, I don't know, you guys can probably see how muddy this field is here, but in one of my exploring videos, I thought I was going to go through a field like this, and I was like, oh, I'll just turn and drive straight through, you know, it's nice and flat, and I just, I mean, almost right away, it just started sinking. So let's try and keep this in low and turn down some of that wheel spin for my, my buddy Justin. <laughs> uh, just giving some of you guys shout outs as I, I see some of these names pop up quite often in the comment section which is cool alright if we go to high whoa I mean it's definitely faster All right, this is what I, I've been doing. I just go over here, and right about here I turn, drive right into the water. There's like a little place right here where you can come right back up. Look at that. But I need to go to the left. I guess I could I could basically go either way from right now. I'll go left, and then we'll try and swoop around and go to the middle. So we'll try and go far left here. That's a little too far though. Because I want, I don't want this that much overlap. Oh well. It is what it is. I probably should have just went as m in the middle as much as I could and got as much area, but I figured it'd take me two streaks to go down here, but maybe it, I could have done it in one if I had planned a little more uh, for it. But yeah, I think I either need one on that side or one on that side, but either way, one streak should probably do it, and then we're on to the harvesting part. And it looks like the sun's starting to go down. I will, uh, once we get, once this finishes, I'll put it back to, uh, day. I'll drop the trailer, go get the other one. Uh, I'm not going to fuel up this time because we should have enough fuel. And then we'll, uh, yeah, keep moving on with the contract. Come on. Auto complete. No way. 
Dude, that field is like all done. What do you mean it's not done? All right, I guess we gotta go one last attempt. I bet you it'll complete after like two seconds of this. All right, here we go. I'm not not even gonna attempt this very very much. So I don't think we need very much of it. There we go. All right, I think I'm gonna turn and we're gonna go drop this. What? Did you see that? Dude, if this tree goes back up, what in the heck? Dude, it's gonna go back. Oh, okay, never mind. Attached trailer. Good to go. Again, this is my favorite one to do. This one always goes the fastest. I think because the trailer actually somewhat picks up. And so you can you can really back up wherever you want. Let's start to fly. Let's see what we can do. I just tried to look behind us by pushing the uh, thumbstick in. I don't know why. But yeah, we'll just... Uh... Ooh, we got pretty close to the end there. Going down for number two. There we go. It's not very straight. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, very not straight, but whatever. Alright, hopefully we, we can get this oh, almost perfect right next to the edge. I'm not going to try and uh, correct that. Oh, shoot. That was pretty straight. What the heck did we hit there? Alright, let's back up. Let's get this very end one. I don't know if we can get all four, but... I know you can get four, but I probably won't be able to all the way there because it's pretty tough to keep it straight. Alright, speed it up. Let's go. Let's see how close we get once we get to the end. I think I've kept it really straight. I might have got four all the way. Wow, I think I did. That's nice. That's really nice. Like I said, this is my favorite trailer to do. It's the easiest one. Again, I'm not going to try and clean this up. This uh, bad chunk right here. I'm just going to try and uh, try and get as far over like this and then just take the whole chunk and then slowly work our way left. Because otherwise I have that like big curve in it and that's fine. We'll just back it up and I think we'll just take this one on the left. Once we straighten out, yep, there we go. And we're coming in at a little bit of an angle but oh well. I'll try and straighten this part out here and continue on. 
Man, this is going really, really well. What do we got? Three more passes. Tires are spinning a lot, so I let off the uh, trigger there a little bit, slow down. Okay, um, I think we, well, we can't get all of this in one pass, but we can get pretty dang close, so let's try. There we go. Pretty dang good. Yeah, alright. I'm going to switch it back today, I know it's almost night, but... Just so much brighter. I like it. I do like to play at night with the lights, but I just, it's so much worse to watch on YouTube. It's like almost unwatchable. Like, I mean, it's, it's still fun, but I don't know. I like playing at night. Not all the time, but like, I, I just want to play through the normal cycle of the day, if that makes any sense. Like, just not skip time, basically. But I'm obviously, I obviously always do it because it's uh, easier to watch. And even if I don't... Like, the amount of I me disliking it versus how much I get for having you guys actually be able to see what I'm doing is, uh... It... It... The, uh... You guys being able to see way outweighs how much I actually like it, because it's just, the difference is barely, you know. That wasn't enough. Are you kidding me? Dude, look how much is left on the field. There's just a little bit there and a little bit over here. That's crazy. Oh, psh, come on. Alright, whatever. Stage complete, so now we can pick up our, uh... We have two sample potatoes here, or should. Let's check. Alright, we got our Western Star NF1430, the 47X. So let's see if we got it. There we go, we got two sample potatoes. So again, yeah, here's the location. Two sample potatoes. This time you don't need a crane, which is nice. I still have it anyways, but we have the uh, high range or whatever it is gearbox on here. So this truck on the way here was just flying, dude. I mean, it's a lot of highway and obviously having a, a eight gear gearbox. I was trying to think of a way to say that. Let's see if our big crack... Oh, is it gone? Yeah, our big crack is gone. Look at that. It's all fixed up. Huh. Alright, yeah, now we just gotta drive to the railway terminal, which is the same place as we went last time. And then we're done with the uh, uh, co uh, contract. I have to, I'm always thinking if it's a contract or a task, and I I used to get them mixed up. I'm getting better. I still do get them mixed up, but less, to a lesser extent. And on these, about half the time I slow down, about half the time I don't. As long as you kind of line them up, you don't usually take too much damage. I'm a little worried about going too fast on this because I'm trying to make good time. You know, that's why I have a highway gearbox in here so we can fly. But yeah, I don't want to go too quick and then slam on the brakes or hit a tree or a rock or something and lose the cargo. I don't know why in the back of my head I'm always thinking, well, closer, you know, every second that I'm driving is one second less that I'll have to drive back if I do flip. So, you know, 
one second, like if I were to flip, I don't have to drive back as far. I'm, every second I'm getting closer and closer and closer. So if we flip, it's not so bad, you know, less driving to do. I don't know why I always think that, but I'm like, all right, yeah, we're, if we flip here, it wouldn't be as bad as if we flip just back at that turn. And then, you know, 10 seconds later, if we flip here, it wouldn't be bad as, you know, whatever. I just, I, I'm always constantly thinking about that for some reason. And I don't flip all that often, it's just, uh-oh. Okay, I wasn't sure. Some signs you can hit and some signs you can't. Like, some signs will just completely stop you. And then other times you can run them over. And I don't understand why they have that. Like, have it so you can do that sometimes and sometimes not. I think it should be universal. You can't hit them where you can. Just because then you know. And again, this river crossing can be somewhat bad, but it's usually not bad. And with this truck, being able to have all wheel and diff lock is uh, really helpful. I don't know why, but usually when I cross the rivers, I go down like this. Try and get a little better view. How many of you guys do that? I'm curious. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like it's a good idea. Alright, here we are. Back on the... the road. I don't know if it's a highway, but... Yeah, now we should be basically tar. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nope. Uh, we should be basically tar, um, yeah, there's a few stretches that aren't, but basically tar the rest of the way there. And yeah, with the high range gearbox, we should be able to get there in good time. Of course, we're taking random damage just because that's how the game is. Like, you just can't, can't really go at a high speed without taking damage, so... Let's slow down a little bit here. Or a lot of it, that's fine. Just as long as we don't flip. Alright, yeah, we should be getting close to the gateway. There it popped up. Uh, we just go up this hill, turn left, go down a little bit. There's a little patch of uh, mud up here. But we're getting uh, getting close to the gateway. Oh, we're in eighth, dude. Let's see if we can skirt around the right side of this. Okay, well, we had to downshift to first, but we basically made it through there. And this is the bore. I got a seismic vibrator on there for one of those missions coming up. That one can only have like four add-ons, so I figured, you know what, I'll use that. Alright, we're through the gateway. And I switched it back today, so it's a little brighter for the rest of our drive. Turned on the all-wheel drive as well. This should be even faster than the Dan trip, just because, like I said, we got the what is it, the high range or freeway or whatever gearbox? I always get those mixed up as well. Yeah, we got eight gears compared to five. And I think we even had the uh, fine tune on there. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But yeah, the video for that one. It's going to come out like two, probably two weeks before this one. I recorded it like two hours ago. But that's, uh, that one's just some, you know, fa different farming because, uh, basically because it's a new gameplay mechanic. And so I wanted to come out with some of the videos of like farming and the windmill. Or, God, I always say windmill. 
uh, wind turbine blades, or blade, I guess, I only did one. But I wanted to come up with some of that content real quick. I guess not real quick, it's been like a week. Today is currently day, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two, yeah, day six. What the heck? Yeah, so it's been six days, so obviously it's not super quick. Tomorrow will be uh, day seven. But yeah, I haven't come out with any of those yet. I've basically just been making the uh, the how-to videos and some uh, exploring videos, and then just the first couple of startup contracts. I've probably come out with like maybe ten. You know, you got the Beast Rising, you got Sample Field, you got exploring all four of the maps. Um, you got like Lost Treasure. There will be light. A couple of those ones. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to turn back on the road here. I could just keep following the ri actually no I'm not. <laughs> I know this railroad track goes exactly where I need to go, so I'm just going to keep following it. It's a little bit more risky cuz I could flip at any moment, but it's whatever. How many of you guys do that where you like decide, "Oh, I'm going to do this route." And then you're doing that route and you're like, no, nah, I'm going to go this way. And then right after you decide you're going to go that way, you're like, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go, I'm going to continue going with the route that I had originally planned. I'm not going to change it. There we go. Our drop point popped up on the map now. I'm going to start slowing down here just a little bit because it gets a little more congested. But yeah, we're doing, making good time. I still have yet to do, like, move that trailer. I basically haven't done any tasks. I've been doing all contracts, pretty much, because they give you the refueling point. They give you the, uh, so refueling point in Harvest Corp, I mean. The refueling, or I guess technically it's called a gas station and repair station in uh, the Institute. And then the garage in Harvest Corp. Um, the trailer store in Heartlands. You know, uh, what else? Um, that might, that might be it, but yeah, obviously how to get the K7M and that kind of stuff as well. That's, uh, K7M is part of a contract. But yeah, there's not really... Oh jeez, we're stuck on this thing. I'm stuck. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, we, that's not working. Oh, wait, maybe now we're on this. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I have to do a lot of a lot of con or tasks after this, but I'm still working on videos like I did the, uh, the living space one. I don't know if you guys... They might have fixed it by now when you guys watch this because it'll be like a week or two later, but cargo containers that don't spawn in. So I showed you guys a workaround for that. All right, here we are. So here is the railway terminal on Crossroads that we have to bring it to. There we go. Contract is complete. Like hot potatoes. 6,000 and 60 XP. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.